just quadratic equations okay quadratic equations not that important when it comes to the examination that you are writing but it can give you a 5 mark straight if in case you get a set that I am going to show you right now okay the only thing that we are concerned about in quadratic equation is finding roots okay when it comes to basic exams it's just about finding roots so quadratic is basically something like this it's a it's a it's an equation in x square right so I have x square let's say I have x square minus 6x plus let's say I have 8 is equal to 0 why do you equate to 0 to find the root equating to 0 is basically finding the root okay but we will not go into the details right now let it be just look at the root uh, let's look at the equation how do you find the root Let, let's stop this is the product this is the sum product is 8 sum is minus 6 you have to find two numbers whose sum is minus 6 and product is 8 what are the numbers minus 4 and minus 2 negate the numbers 4 and 2 negate them multiply by minus 1 and these are the roots okay so first look at the equation this is a sum middle number this is a product at the right find out the numbers that will give you sum and product and negate them or you can start with negating the sum itself and directly find the numbers any way you want any way you choose to okay yeah so again let's say I have x square minus 10x plus 24 tell me product is 24 sum is 10 I can negate it if I want to as I mentioned what are the numbers 6 comma 4 and these are the roots keep in mind I'm not negating here because I've already negated in sum sum was supposed to be minus 10 but I took it plus 10 so I negated at the start itself so we'll negate the sum itself okay rather than negating two numbers at the end it's better to negate one number at the start okay tell me about this x square plus 14x plus 33 okay product is 33 sum is minus 14 I'll take it I'll, I'll, I'll negate the sum directly I'll not wait till the last step what are the numbers so that sum is minus 14 and product is 33 minus 11 minus 3 and these are the roots okay these are the roots all right what if I have something like this 2x square okay plus 5x plus let's say I have 2x square plus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0 tell me the numbers are the product is in this case the product is not 3 product is the multiplication of these two keep in mind keep in mind the product is always multiplication of these two but here all the time we had one as a coefficient so we need not multiply we did not bother to multiply okay so here we have one but here we have two so product is going to be six sum is going to be minus five can you find two numbers minus three and minus two these are the roots already because they have negated anyway minus three minus two but wait a minute there's one more rule of roots and that rule is you're supposed to divide by the coefficient of x square also in the previous cases we don't do it because the coefficient of x square is one in this case we have a coefficient as two so we'll divide so the answer is minus three by two and minus one these two are the roots are we clear so these two are the roots okay so the roots have a simple logic first product is decide how do you decide a product by taking this number and multiplying by this number in the previous cases we had one all the time so we don't bother okay that's how you find the product how do you find the sum the middle number is the sum you can negate the sum at the start itself so that you directly get the roots after you get the numbers after you get the roots you're supposed to divide that by the coefficient of x square in the previous cases we had one so we didn't bother dividing in this case we have two we have to divide so the answers are minus three by two and minus one are we clear let's try this please all of you 3x square plus 10x plus 7 what is the product? 21. What is the sum? Product is going to be 7 3s. Sum is minus 10. I have negated it first itself. What are the numbers? Minus 7 minus 3. Are these the roots? No. Divide them by 3. These are the roots. Clear? So minus 7 by 3 and minus 1 are the roots. All of you? Simple as that. Good enough? Easy enough? <coughs> let's move forward okay let's look at something else let's look at the type of question that you can have all of you clear with the roots okay so I'll repeat one last time product is these two sum is negating this find the numbers and divide by coefficient of the x square out here okay let's look at what kind of questions can you have in exams okay here, here it is quadratic equations 
Now in the examination, in the logical reasoning side, you'll have this question. Okay? Where they'll give you a quadratic equation. Okay, they see in the two equations are given. You have to mark A if X is more than Y, B if X is less than, more than equal to Y, blah blah blah. You have all the options out here. Five options. Which is basically inequality option. More than, less than, less than, equal to, more than, equal to. And cannot be determined or is equal to. Okay? So for that we'll have to solve the equations fast. And we need, that's why I showed you the roots, the shortcut for the roots. So you can solve it really fast. Because that's not the only motto. The motto is to go ahead also. What are the roots here? Minus 14 and 48. How much? What, what are the roots? Product is 48. Sum is 14. What are the numbers? 6, 8. So I write this way. X is 6, 8. What about Y? Minus 5 and plus 6. So product is 6. Sum is 5. What are the numbers? 2 and 3. So Y is 2, 3. Okay? And you compare in this manner. Your comparison is in this manner. Every element of X you compare with every element of Y. So it's better if you do it this way. Compare 1 by 1. 6 is more than 2. Is more than 3. 8 is more than 2. 8 is more than 3. So the answer is X is more than 3. This means that every value of X is more than every value of Y. Are we clear? That is what is meant by X is more than Y. So the answer is option A. Do you understand this? So we just find the roots first, which is very easy. We just have a shortcut for that. 6 and 8 and 2 and 3 are the roots. Then we write it this way. X is 6 and 8, Y is 2 and 3. And compare every element of X with every element of Y. Okay? Because every relationship starts with X. That's why I said X to Y. Don't go Y to X. It's unnecessary. It will confuse you. Okay? Next question. X square plus 9X plus 20. What are the roots of that? Product is 20. Sum is minus 9. So minus 5 minus 4. What about here? Product is 12. Sum is 7. So it's going to be minus 3 minus 4. 12 and 7. Alright. So I write this way. X here and Y here. What is X? Minus 5 minus 4. What is Y? Minus 3 minus 4. Start. Minus 5 is less than minus 3. Less than. So I said less than less than. What about this? Less than equal to. So I'll say X is less than equal to Y. Which means all the elements of X are either less than Y or one of them or two of them can be equal to Y also. Not just equal, there are lesser two. Alright? So the answer is option D. The answer is option D. Are we clear? Absolutely fine with this? Okay. Let's look at the third question. A very exciting one again. Very famous one in fact I'll say. Because a lot of people confuse this question because they don't know properties of square roots and stuff. X square is 529. What is X? Plus or minus 23? Not 23. Plus or minus 23? Y is under root 529. What is, the, what is Y? Only 23. Keep in mind, a negative number square can be positive. But square root of a number is always positive. Square root will give you a positive answer all the, all the time. Alright, let's start. X. What are the values we have for X? Plus 23. Minus 23. What are the values we have for Y? Only 23. Start. Equal to less than. So X is less than equal to Y. Again, option is D. Are we clear? So in square, we got two roots possible. In a square root, we have only one. That's the answer. X is less than equal. It's a jackpot. If you get this question, it's a jackpot. Five questions. will hardly take one minute for solving this. Okay? Let's look at the last question. Okay, have a look. What is the question? The question says, X square plus 13X plus four, minus 13 plus 42. 42. Product is 42. Sum is minus 13. What are the numbers? 6 and 7. So, X is 6 and 7. What about Y? 16, 63. Minus 7, minus 9. Keep in mind, plus 16. There's plus 16 there, right? So it's going to be minus 16. So it's going to be minus 7, minus 9. Okay, let's start. X greater than, greater than, greater than, greater than. So the answer is, X is more than Y. Option A. Yeah. Are we clear? There's this option here. Relationship cannot be determined. You know what will that kind of option be? It will be like this. X and Y we have. We have 6, 8 here, let's say. 
and we have 7 and 9 here so how will I start less than greater than and there cannot be a sign less than greater than okay it only in computer codes otherwise there's no sign like this okay less than greater than no sign right no inequality so that's why when that that's when you'll say relationship cannot be determined clear so when you have reverse signs relationship cannot be determined how you find only this much comes in quadratic and that's why i mentioned then let's finish quadratic first okay so this is this is the only thing you need all right that's it about quadratic